My parent behaved more like a sibling than a parent. I never felt a secure attachment with them. That's not just a feeling. It's chemistry. Let's map what should have happened in childhood versus what actually happens in trauma. In a safe home, the attachment crew works together. Oxytocin builds trust and bonding. Vasopressin co-pilots with oxytocin to protect the child like a mama bear. Prolactin makes the parent nurture the child so the child doesn't have to carry any adult burdens. Cortisol stays low most of the time, only spiking in real emergencies. Its counterweight, serotonin, keeps the mood calm and balanced. So the child's feelings are seen, co-regulated, and calmed. And that's the chemistry of security. But in trauma homes, these same chemicals get rewired. Oxytocin bonds you to unsafe people. Vasopressin co-pilots with cortisol, becoming control instead of protection. Prolactin twists into parentification, where the child is caring for the parent. Cortisol stays high, training your body for constant stress, while serotonin gets drowned out, so that the balance never comes. So, from the very beginning, chemistry was scripting your childhood. One path should have led to nurturing and protection. The other path, trauma, led to parentification, control, and survival mode stress. And those early bonds don't just disappear. They shape the choices your dopamine star will end up wrestling with. Tomorrow, we'll connect these attachment wounds to dopamine, your free will star, and show how it learned to survive in the middle of all of this.